no to living in the complex cycle of oppression. There are people who live with the idea that they're oppressed. Islam is oppressed and that life is full of oppression. That the whole world is against Islam and hence Islam is against the world. Oppression is an incorrect way of thinking because it develops into a chain of wrongdoings and deceives you into living the role of the victim because it transforms into restlessness, jealousy and hatred and after that into violence, tension, killing and blood. Wrong. Or it could transform into depression and negativity which leads us to look for an excuse to blame all of these mistakes on. This is also wrong. Of course, there's a lot of injustice and conspiracies everywhere in life. But living in the cycle of oppression is not the solution. Then what is the right solution? The right is in the Quran, a whole surah that teaches you to reject oppression. Which surah? Surat Yusuf. So do like Yusuf did. Why Yusuf? Because no one in this world has seen the injustice Yusuf did the envy of his siblings and their hatred toward him as a child. He was thrown into the well for a few days, lost his parents and was separated from them for many years, was sold as a slave for years, imprisoned under false accusations for nine years. Could there be any more injustice than that? But what's really puzzling is that there is not one word in the Surah Yusuf where he is complaining from the injustice he's experienced because he chose another alternative, much better than oppression, resentment, hatred, and depression. He chose a value called merciful effectiveness. Yusuf focused on himself and on his capabilities until he succeeded and reached to the position of leadership of all of Egypt because of his very strong positivity and effectiveness. And when we succeeded, he pardoned his siblings because he was very merciful and forgiving. That's what merciful effectiveness is. When he was in the house of Al-Aziz, he focused on Al-Aziz's methods of managing economics and learned from him because he's effective and positive. When he was in jail, he fixed the problems between prisoners and didn't give up to frustration and despair because he is effective and positive. And when the king had a dream, Yusuf understood that Egypt was going to face a period of starvation. He didn't hide the solution and offered it to them with no conditions while he was in jail because he was a very merciful person. Surat Yusuf teaches you to focus on yourself and don't get distracted by injustice, right? Stay effectively positive, right? Forgive and have mercy or excuse whom oppressed you and forget, also right? The Quran teaches you, instead of living in the complex cycle of oppression which generates extremists, to learn merciful effectiveness. Hashtag Yusuf Rights, right?